Hello everyone. This is an introductory video on system software. So to start with, what is the software definition? It states that software is set of instructions or programs written to carry out certain tasks on digital computers. We can classify softwares as application software and system software. What is application software? Application software is generally concerned with how to find a solution to some problem using computer as a tool instead of how computers actually work. What is a system software then? It consists of variety of programs that support the operation of a computer. So there is one characteristic feature in which most system softwares differ from application software. It is system softwares few features are dependent on the underlying architecture. We have machine dependency for few features of system software and there will be no dependency on the machine when it comes to the application software. So a, syst a system software programmer must know the target machine structure. As I said, there are few features of system software which are machine dependent means the programmer has to know what instructions are available, what instruction formats are available, supported addressing modes, how many number of registers are available, what are sizes of each registers available, what are their purposes present in an architecture because these features vary from one architecture to another. Just as an example to quote, if we are taking Intel 8086 architecture as an example, it has got 8 registers used for programming and each of size 16 bits. While if you are considering ARM 7 TDMI architecture, for example, it has got 37 registers, 16 of them are available for the programmer at a time and each of size 32 bits. So this is just an example which states that machine code, instruction formats, addressing mode and registers, they vary from one machine to another machine. There are few aspects of system software that do not directly depend on type of system under use. General design and logic of a compiler, code optimization techniques are few examples of independent features of system software. Now, here is a slide containing few examples of system software. Assemblers, linkers, loaders, microprocessors, text editor, compiler, OS, debugging system. These are all few examples of system software. The examples written in, uh, let me select a pen here. The examples written in color green, they are the one that we are going to design in our course. We need to learn an architecture first based on which these system softwares are built. So in the next few videos, we are going to learn a hypothetical machine called Simplified Instructional Computer, in short it is called as SIC and its extended version, in short it is called as SICXE based on which we understand the system software's programming features.